learning to sew is hard enough without having to learn all of these weird words that go along with sewing as well. I remember when I started there were so many strange words I had no idea what they meant. So that's why I've created this whole series uh, called Learn to Speak Dressmaker. Think of it like your sewing dictionary where we'll go through all the words, all the sewing terminology that you'll need to know. And today's word that we're going to look at is selvage. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> Welcome back, lovely ladies and gents. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Evelyn Wood, and this whole series is brought to you by my online sewing school, VintageSewingSchool.com. Now, let's get into today's word. Just what is a selvage? The selvage is the narrow woven border that runs along the lengthwise edges of the fabric. So let's explain this a little bit more. The lengthwise edges of fabric, if we look at our roll of fabric here, this will be the edge that you cut and usually phrase out. And then you'll notice that edge along here, the lengthwise edge, has a little strip of sort of woven interlaced, um, you know, it's usually tighter, it's got the little holes in it, and it actually doesn't fray out. This is the selvage of the fabric. Now, let me show you a little closer a few different types of selvages. Here on this white fabric, you can see we've got the little uh, holes in here, and you can see that it gets thicker and it's more tightly woven on that very edge there. This is the selvage. All these little holes are actually where the fabric is made and it sits on the loom. These are little spikes that uh, go into the fabric to actually hold it in place as it's being made and as it's being uh, treated and printed and finished and all that sort of thing. That's how the holes get there. And so for instance, on another fabric here, this blue one is, it's got sort of heavier, different sort of stripes. It's a different weave and it's got the little white frayed out edges sort of on the, on the very, very outer edge. But if you try and pull them out, it's not going to fray. So that is the selvage on this fabric here. And now on printed fabrics, often the print will stop when it gets to the selvage, like this uh, crazy Marvel print here. I know, don't ask this fabric. So on this one side, you can see that um, it's actually got a white strip. And so the actual holes that are in the other ones aren't quite as visible on this, but you can still see that it's got that sort of woven border that we talked about. And one last more to demonstrate to you. Sometimes like on this wool, it's actually really hard. There's no sort of decipherable um, kind of strip without a color or it doesn't have other bits woven down it. It all looks pretty much the same. It's only the very, very, very edge that has this kind of um, extra white yarn running through it to hold everything in place. And you can just make out the little holes where it's been held into the loom. And now to give you the best understanding of the selvage, because it does actually relate to a lot of other things with fabric, I suggest that you look up terms like uh, grain line and the bias and possibly even the right and wrong sides of fabric. So I'm going to link up those terms down below as well for you so you can go and watch the whole lot. But remember, this is a whole series, so make sure you go ahead and watch the entire sewing terminology series. Now, remember, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and share it if you found it really useful and you know someone else who could use uh, this, this uh, sewing terminology. Enjoy the rest of this series, and I really hope it helps you learn these sewing words, and until next time, bye.